What's going on guys? We are back here playing some Breath of the Wild and I'm trying to figure out how to break into this shrine over here. Maybe with a bomb. That is not it. Maybe with some ice. Ice, ice, baby. Dim, 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 dim. Let's try to break it. Break it down? Break it down now? Aim underfoot. Oh. Oh, under me. Oh, what? That's dope. That's what I have to do. That must be it. Uh-oh, I forgot how to do it. Let's try that again. <laughs> What's happening? Am I being blocked by something? Ah. Will this be enough? Hey! <laughs> Maybe I did it on the wrong side, but anyway... We successfully got over, which is what matters. That's what matters most. And luckily it didn't hurt that much. Because Link, I think, has been quite fragile. Especially against that green Bokoblin. Perfect dodge. If you black flip or side hop away from a monster's attack at just the right moment. Are you kidding me? No way. That's dope. So that means if I'm sick... I can kill these dudes and not get hit. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I know this is pointless to be practicing at this very moment. But, uh... So just like, oof. Okay, okay. Alright, what's this one about? What are we up to? What are we up to here? <clears throat> this is it a culmination of all my skills put together? I'll go in it. I'll go in it. Do it underfoot. Swoosh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> and now, what I'll do is look around and see what the heck to do. Oh, man. That's certain death. Wow, I'm pretty stuck. Let's see if this works. Maybe it has something to do with this. I could freeze the whole thing. No, it doesn't work on it. Or does it? Am I not aiming correctly? Or maybe I need to destroy this first? Is it still, oh, it's still under me. Duh. Still gonna break that just in case but okay so now oh okay 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 i have to be able to do more than two or at least two i'm gonna get across this right it's gonna fall see that's what i was thinking too um not good enough uh what if i do this <laughs> a little a little sketch. That's a little sketch. But it's cool. We can do two at a time. Gosh. Alright. Awesome. Now, what is next? I don't want anything to fall on me. Gotta be completely aware of our surroundings. This is giving me some cool Mario 64 vibes. Nothing here? Okay. Okay. I, I don't really trust those ceilings. Oh. Oh, gosh. You made me walk all the way up here. But it's cool. We could just take a look around. Okay, I don't see nothing. I don't see anything at all. What is down here? Gotta play that ball game again. Hmm. Can I turn into Guiji? Guiji, there's. Oh, what is. I feel like I'm gonna die if I step on that. Huh. Okay, there's a lot of water here. That's something. Oh, this thing isn't here. Where's the entrance? 
have to climb up or something? <laughs> it's, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What do I do? Is this correct? Is there an entrance up there? It doesn't look like there is though. It does not look like there is. But there's something up there. Okay. Okay. This might be it. It might not be as silly as I think it is. <laughs> Go. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, let me just check if my trajectory is on point. I'm gonna put one on this sad. Oh god. Imagine I do it too close to myself and push myself off. <laughs> now that I am aware of that, I will not do that. Okay. That was clear. All right, we're getting closer to whatever. I don't know if this is correct, but... Okay, I don't have to hold L either. I've been holding L this whole time. I just have to push it once to do this. It's better on my, on my hand situation. Still think I gotta get a... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I think that was close. I still gotta get a pro controller. But I don't know, I've never felt comfortable with it, to be honest. I've only ever really felt comfortable with a PS4 controller. And at the times, you know, Nintendo's always come up with cool controllers. Um, so I was used to GameCube when I played GameCube. Um, I was used to uh, Nintendo 64 when Nintendo 64 came out. But, uh, you know, oh, and I was used to uh, Wii, the Wii remote as well, you know. Nintendo always has cool controllers. But, first and foremost will always be uh, PS4. Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking and trying to talk and play at the same time. Okay, is there anything to do here? I'm at, I'm at like the highest point. Uh, I don't think that did Jack Diddley squat. I don't think that did anything. Holy crap. I'm so lost. I get a look around. What is that? It's a big pillar. So basically I gotta get that ball to fall into that hole and then it'll open up. Can I stop this thing in time? I can stop it in time. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So I can do that. Let me get down off of this place. Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> and I destroy this thing. It's gonna freaking fall off. Shatter. Oh! Oh! My God, why, 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 why? It's so not good. It's so not good. Oh, I'm, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. God. Okay, the water guides. I missed the title of that before. I don't know if it'll help this time, but we shall see. Actually, it does help, because now I'm thinking, this thing has to do with water. So, clearly, I have to use the water. Just not like I did that time, just now. But, uh, yeah, I do have to use the water. That wasn't good placement. Dope. Dopey guy. Ah, uh, right there. No. Alright, get out of my way. Put that right there. And this one. Right. Come on. Yes. Okay. Let's get up here. Time to use my little noggin. I guess I have to stand here. 
Here we go. We have some water. We, okay, so we have water flowing all down the side of this thing. Maybe we have to, uh... How far can we reach? Oh, we could reach so far. Bam. Okay, we missed it. But, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, wrong button. Oh, and it went right over it. Did it go right over it? Oh. Alright. Okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Crack that. Crack that all on the floor. Crack that on the snow. Crack that. Uh, I'll wait for the other one. That'll go down there. And then we run, 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 run. And then we go right. Oh, it missed. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. That was right there. I see, I see. Uh, with right here suffice. Oh, it's a little off. It's a little off. Well, maybe I should have done it a little higher. What's going to happen after I do it? Uh-oh, don't stay there. Wow, I have to use a lot of these. All right. Or maybe I'll just put it right freaking right here. Just, you know, bypass the whole... Oh! <laughs> Is it going to stay there now? You know what? All right. You've tried me. Dunk. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit more thought than I expected. Put it right here. And right here. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. So this thing has to stay up. Oh, at least it continues to do that. Okay, continue. Yes. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Get her. I'll wait for this one to pass. I feel like gyro would be nice in this situation. I'm so fidgety because I feel like it's uh, very precise. Like you have to be so precise. What's going to happen now? Oh! Oh, close. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down here first. God, this is its gonna take some thinking. It sucks that, uh, it sucks that that thing's gonna break every single time. I'm gonna have a hard time testing both of them out. I guess we'll see. Precise. Precise. I want it up a little bit more. Not good. Stay up. Oh, not good. Okay, there should be fine. Oh, did one of them break? Crap! Craptastic! There's a time limit on them. Who knew? Who freaking knew? Go, 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 go. Oh, gosh. It totally missed. Oh, put this... Right here. Oh, I, th I don't think that was a good placement. No, it was not. Let's put this right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, the one down there broke. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I don't have to run around every single time. There. Wow, this one broke fast. Okay, don't need that one. Oh, please. Oh, Wusa. Go. Oh my gosh, that was serious. That was a good one. And I'm just here thinking that like, all the, the shrines were easy. That was a good one. That was like Luigi's Mansion, what I loved about that game. The, the, 
the solution is simple. It's right in front of your face. I was just overthinking. <laughs> Climbed all the way up that waterfall. Oh. Beautiful. And also upon you. Koblenz, the omnivorous monsters enjoy not only meat, fish, but also fresh fruit. Let's get to know Moblins. These large carnivores require sizable helpings of meat and fish to sustain their bulky frames. Moblins. What are those ones? Are those the green ones? I'm not too sure. Beautiful. And the spikes went down. Hooray! All right, so we got to pass these Twin Peaks and then we got to go find a road and head north. This must be it. But let's talk to these villagers, see what's up. Come on over. The stable. Yeah. Hey, I don't believe I've met your acquaintance. Name's Beetle, but you can call me actually. Let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget your face, you can remember a beetle shaped backpack. Yeah. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule and fulfilling those shopping needs. I stock many bugs and such things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Let's see what he's got. He's got some arrows there. I have 23 in my inventory. How many can I hold? I don't know. Monster parts create stamina, Elixir. See, a thing with me too in games, a lot of the time... Oh, these are expensive, dude. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Can I sell you stuff? What can I really give him though? I don't really want to give him anything. I kind of want to keep it all for myself. Uh, what's this? Flint? Some gears and such things? I want to know if I could build stuff with these gears. That's why I'm not giving it away just yet, you know? I think we're good for now, my friend. Thank you very much. Take care now. All right. Hello there. Hi. Oh, it's you, my friend. Nice to see you. Oh my god, little kids. Are those little kids? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shibu. You think this noisy guy... Right here, he's interested in horses. Looks like to me, Darden, judging from his eyes, he's itching to get into the saddle. You're right, he's got eyes that just say like, nothing in this world matters to me except horses. That means... That means... That means we've got ourselves a customer. What the? Howdy, Mr. Man. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stables. Or, welcome to Dueling Peak Stables. Welcome to the front of. I really can't tell by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with those horse stuff, isn't it? That's right. Just look at his eyes. It's all about horses and horses and stuff. In that case, feel free to ask us anything about horses. Bro, how much is a horse? Tell me. Oh, I have to catch a horse? There are horses actually in the wild in this game. While the horses are scared easily, and if they notice people nail them, they'll take off. Sneak up on from behind them slow. You get good and close. Grab them and jump on quick. If you crouch and sneak up quietly, they won't notice you. Crouch. Now they're teaching me about crouch. See, I feel like maybe I should just go with the flow of this game. And eventually I'm going to get it. Oh, I've been trying to do too much too quick, you know. Horses with spots on them are even tempered and easy to train. On the other hand, horses that are all one white color... Uh, like straight white or straight black are wilder and harder to train. When I want to call a horse, they're more stamina and they run faster, right? That's it, they're harder to handle. One color horse should be the best dude. Uh, beginner should one spotted horse grow up. I'll ride one, one colored horse one day. Hey, mister. You get all that? Dad taught us. Just leave her. How do I train one? They're really wild, so they'll run in different directions and buck hair in there because they aren't trained yet. When that happens, you gotta soothe them. But Dad said that the constantly soothing them won't do at all. The trick is to soothe them when they do what they when they do what you want them to do. Oh, 
It's like saying thanks. That's dope. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Awesome. That's cool. Let's do this. Let's catch a horse. I want to catch a horse. I want to catch a horse. Hey, chicken. Oh. You can like chuck it. Oh god, I have to. <laughs> oh, they're gonna come after me and try to kill me, aren't they? Can I take these apples? I was thinking about taking one of those apples. Apparently lying around here is up for grabs. Straight up, that's what I heard about you guys in Hyrule. You guys just don't care if people take your stuff. And you know what? I'm down with that. Hey doggy. Hey doggy. Okay. You don't talk much, doggy. Hey, goats. What's up, goats? What's up, guys? You guys know where I can find a horse? Looking for a horse to train. Look at you, all a good boy. Alrighty then. I hope this chicken's not too mad at me. Sorry, chicken. I can give you directions. I could use directions. Welcome to Doom Pink Stables. What do you think of this place? Pretty nice, yeah? Imagine now, but this place is nearly destroyed a hundred years ago. I heard. I heard about that. Everything is full of life again. Even the wild horse is back. Sweet. I like that. Can you tell me where those horses are? Yes. Hmm. Certainly not many years passed, but still quite a few around. Horses are wild. Well, wild. No one can care for them. Yes, yes. Register the horse for you. Oh, cool. Spring. Feel free to pick their brains. Leave it to Rensa. To tell you about the roads around this area. Kakariko Village. <laughs> Kakariko. Uh, Shika clan lives. Cool. Advanced techniques. More powerful than anything anyone has ever seen. Uh, well, shattered across the, scattered across the land. Follow the road straight up north. You find a big bridge. Cross it. And uh, yes, get to the Kakariko Village. Is that the village? I think that's the village I'm supposed to be going to. Hateno village, edge of Hyrule, largely unaffected by the events of the Calamity. So they're- oh, really? That sounds cool. A uh, research center and folks have the something there. Then go east, yep. A little far to walk, but if you have a horse. Awesome. Everything looks like that. Still linger, yeah, for sure. Nice, so be careful when the sun sets. Thank you for your advice, sir. I wonder if there's anybody that never plays the game at night. Like, they always wait. Welcome to Stable, doing horse-related stuff. Stable system? No, I don't. Tell me. Again, I summon them. You please. Wait, I should really read this. You can board your horse company's companions with us and then summon them. Oh, okay. Wild horses during your travel. Yes. If you catch one, you write it here to register. It will become your horse companion. Okay, so I have to write it there to register it every time. Gotcha. You have to approach it from behind slowly so it doesn't notice you, then hop on. Yeah, yeah. Try soothing it. Eventually settle down. Bring it to me. Okay, change the horse. Uh, or slow down. All right. All right. Naturally, we get to trust and become more obedient. Whoa! Did you just welcome me to a stable again? <laughs> Register horse catching horses. Nothing at this point in time, my good sir. Cool, man. So I guess I just gotta head out there. What's in here? More folks? I bet it's over there. What are you guys looking for? Misko's treasure. And it's great. Listen up, Doc. Person, hang on. Hi. No, continue. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? <laughs> you are being incredibly rude listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. Sounds interesting. No, continue, man, continue. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. 
Just do something. Take it up with someone else. Bro, I'm a friend. You can't pay no mind to my little bro's chatter. Yo, what's Misko's treasure, guy? Well, can't say I didn't try to throw you. <laughs> he gave up really easily, didn't he? Really, that was able to. We're nothing off of the of the great bandit finding out incredibly riches. We should wait for free. I'm no fool. Love, Domi Duck. You're a great duck. Oh, really? Really? Let's still get this excuse for what you say. Deal! <laughs> Deal! Well, what about you, man? Oh, wow. This guy's the lead, eh? This guy's the lead. I can't talk to his brother. If I have to write the better. Man, I don't want to pay that guy 100, whatever, 1,000 rupees. Is this guy on both sides? Oh, I see. <laughs> Come over here. No, I'm just kidding, buddy. You can take it easy. <laughs> Who's this guy? Okay, let's talk to this guy before we end this episode. Why not? Hino. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the blood moon. Blood moon? You don't know it? It's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. About a hundred years ago now, often clock strikes midnight and the sky turns red and the full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. And that's a, what's known as a blood moon. Why do you monsters return to life? Why does it happen when the sky turns red? No one really has answers to those questions. It's a mystery. Or a mysterious phenomenon, rather. If you learn everything, anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me, please. Yo, don't... Oh, it's raining. That's why I was like, why are you running away from me? I don't smell. Well, guys, that is it for this episode, this video. Let's get in from the rain and be dry like everybody else. Maybe go warm ourselves by the fire or something. Until next time, thank you for joining me. If you wouldn't mind, think about dropping a like, a comment, a share. Especially if you don't. <laughs> if you don't like. <laughs> if you don't mind, what's going on around here? This has been Theos of the Future. You know what it is. GG.